one, um, this one's not as, I'm not really sure how you guys are going to be dealing with mixed numbers, but I guess we might as well make sure we know how to convert a mixed number to a, um, to a improper fraction. So as far as writing this stuff down, this might be very helpful because I'll say it a couple times for you guys to remember it. And if you want to write it down, so then you can kind of remember. When converting a mixed number to an improper fraction, you take your denominator, multiply it by the whole number, and then add the numerator. So to find, or I guess the numerator in the improper fraction, you take your denominator, multiply it by your whole number, and add your numerator. So 7 times 3 is 21, plus 6 is 27. 27 is now my new numerator, and I'm going to always keep the denominator. Okay, So 3 and 6 sevenths, which is a mixed fraction, or a mixed number, 3 and 6 sevenths, we can rewrite as the improper fraction of 27 over 7, which we're always going to want to prefer. So I don't even like mixed numbers at all. But in case we do have a problem that involves that, that's how you convert. Over here, I have 7 times negative 1, which is negative 7. Oh, well, <laughs> close here. All right, um, confusing here. First of all, plus a negative, right? Didn't we talk about how that's kind of like a subtraction problem? Yes. Right? OK. So let's just rewrite this as a subtraction problem. And when you're doing mixed numbers, um, do not attach that negative sign with it. OK? Because basically what we're doing is, how can we just rewrite 1 and 1 seventh as a mixed number? So to do that, we do 7 times 1, which is 1, plus 1, which is 8. So that's going to be minus 8 sevenths. So if you guys can kind of disregard at that point in time, um, disregard kind of the, the negative sign. Because if you added the negative, that would be 7 times negative 1, which would be negative 7 plus 1, which is negative 6. 1 and 1 seventh is not, is not 6 over 7. That's 6 sevenths. That's not improper. So it's 8 sevenths. Now we can just go ahead and subtract. Whenever you're subtracting fractions or adding fractions, when you got to make sure you have common denominators, which in this case we do. And then you subtract the numerator from the other numerator. So 27 minus 8 is going to be 19 over 7. Done. Fine. All right. Um, I was also asked for number 17. 